Hits the fan, like, like it did tonight. It feels like before we came to the city. It feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some maybe. tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Okay, can't lie. Just, you know, stop pretending. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened. No. I wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. Uh, hey guys? Oh, we man. have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. He took it. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's uh Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. Smart. I saw Crane Real it smart. after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. Alright. How long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months, or years. He had to have oh, man. something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. Hey, that's pretty smart. I know never that mind that. Come help me look. Like there's a letter on his desk. Last I saw. Come on, man. Three letters. Uh, air conditioner. Three months ago. Nice snow. God, don't she look angry? She look happy. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. It's rule seven. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I need to know. Crane was, uh, paying Lily to live out a fantasy of him and you together. Forgive me if I spare you the details. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> Creepy dude. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Don't worry, Snow. We'll get him. Come on, let's keep looking. Damn right. Get your shit together! Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. I don't know. Well, what's in there? Let's see. Oh. Alrighty. I couldn't read that. There's a page here that was torn oh. out. What you oh, call? yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? Hello. It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would his need witch. to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His well, witch. Yes, it bitch. sounded like the one he got his uh, you, glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this? Before? They must have it. They got it. No you. one asked me. Buffkin. I'm sorry. You fucking drunk? 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? 
Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, Damn. and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, but... This isn't your concern. Bluebeard, get the hell out of here. This is none of your business. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he's spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know Hello. if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror, so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. You're not needed here. Just ignore him. Ignore me? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that who doesn't... Who elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere the else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. If Holly has Lily's things, that'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. Yeah, man, just get the hell get out of here. more messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to For something. Real. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you going to go, Bigby? Over to Holly's. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. No, I'm better off dealing with things old. The witch's identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. 
I hope you know what you're doing. I think I know what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure. What big eyes you have, chapter three. So is there like six chapters in each episode? Just so we're halfway done. This episode. <laughs> He's asleep, you fucking idiot. I need to talk to Holly. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Okay, okay, before you get all huffy, it, it was Snow who let me go, all right? It just, there was no sense in me staying in jail. She, she said so herself. Don't soil yourself, Woody. I'm sure he understands. And if he doesn't, he can take it up with the missus later. Luckily for you, I don't have the time to get pissed off about this right now. Well, come on in, buddy. Friend. What? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah. I'll only be here two minutes. I just need to check through Lily's things. <laughs> Whatever. It's all raining and shit, leaving me out in the rain. God. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? I'm enough. Grant, really, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, okay. the deal is, if you Sounds resist strong. going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. There you go. And he said that he shouldn't mix it Jesus. with alcohol. Looks like he don't give a fuck. Yes, he did. He certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. There's no way to wake her up. Oh, no. And anyways, the doctor gave me strict orders to let the fine woman sleep. She's had a very traumatic experience. That funeral back oh, there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. Yeah. I want to clear the idea. air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Let's do it. Here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, I'm... yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a one, show of good two. faith. Oh, and after, Alrighty. we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Friend Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with. I don't want to get loaded with him. I'm running out of time, Gren. Come on, man. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I hey, said sir. I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! Jesus. 
What more do you want?